Ow. Ow. Ugh. Say R.I.P. All right, what's going on guys? My name is Alex Whittick and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new to the channel, thank you for joining us and make sure you guys are subscribed. Hit your post notification bell so you don't miss out on all my content. Make sure you like the video if you enjoy it and share the content to one of your friends that they might enjoy. Guys, I'm super excited today because I went ahead and I hooked up the door speakers in the Tilted TDI. It wasn't much to film, so I didn't think that I should film it. I know I should have because I know you guys would have liked to have seen that, but I'll give you a gist of what we had done. We honestly just took the door panel off, hooked up all the door speakers and all the door panels, and then I went ahead and I hooked up these tweet, the tweeter right here and that tweeter over there, and uh, the car sounds absolutely phenomenal now. It's only stock stereo, but it's really nice to actually even have music in there. But one of the things I really want to do today is since we have the hood exit on this car right here, we have to go ahead and we have to rip off the exhaust. I've seen too many comments saying, when are you going to rip off the exhaust on the TT, and uh, the, the day is today, basically. But guys, I'm really excited because we got over to Joey's house today and we helped him with the mulch. I more or less stood there and, um, you know, messed around, but I'm going to throw up those clips in a second on the screen for you guys to enjoy. See me and my bud just, just uh, you know, spreading out some mulch, which was fun. But uh, about to roll underneath this car. We're going to rip off this exhaust and uh, see what else the day leads to. But yeah, we need to get this exhaust off. It's not looking the best and uh, we got a hood exit now, so we don't need that. Joey. Let's go see you, Joey. <laughs> see you guys later. His hands are a little dirty. It's, it's sad to see him. We're going to ditch this hat, though, and uh, we're going to head back home. Joey, it was great seeing you. See you guys. Love later. seeing you. Stay safe. Stay safe. At that point, of course, I haven't even got underneath here to see what needs to be done, but I can only assume it's pretty simple to take off some exhaust hangers, but who knows if this car is too low. So, we're going to get on our hands and knees, and uh, as you guys can see, it's really not much. It only goes out to right there it ends right there there's an exhaust hanger there's an exhaust hanger here an exhaust hanger over here and uh it looks like i'm gonna need to get underneath the car and it's pretty low so i'm debating on whether i should just cut it and just say eh whatever or should i just undo that mm. i'm gonna raise the car up and we're gonna jack it up and we're gonna see if we should just rip it off because honestly my style nowadays is we got a hood exit we don't need to exhaust it and also we may as well just cut it out so yeah, let's figure it out. Let's, let's jack this car up. Also, we got our little spectator here, little Michi, 13 years old. You guys know the gist. 32 kids. I don't know, maybe it's like 25 or something, but there's a lot of kids. So, I'm gonna head on over to the garage right here next to the RS's. I've got my jack. So, let's jack this car up. And uh, let's look. we're probably gonna cut this thing out, but hey, we're gonna see if we can save it first. Damn, just like that, she's done. I'm just kidding. We got it on the jack point now. Let's get this car up a little bit off the ground. As you guys know, I love to park this thing as safe as possible. So, we've got the front wheel hanging off about five, six inches, but the wheel's ten and a half inches wide, so it doesn't matter. Big Meech is over here checking out what's going on. Oh my God, look at how cute he is. Look at that little nose. Rabbits, man. But anyway, we're gonna jack this car up. Let's hop underneath this thing and uh, let's get our Harbor Freight knife out just in case. Because while we're under air, we may as well just, you know, her out. Like a famous man once said, safety is number one priority. So I am not leaving this car on this jack, this Harbor Freight jack. So I got that right there, I'm pull it off. And then even for more safety, I got this block right here. And I'm gonna stick it underneath the front wheel so it doesn't go forward. Boom. Just like that, safe as can be. Now let's go underneath this car. Let's rip this exhaust off. Like I said, guys, who knows? We might try to keep it preserved, or we might just say, hmm, let's cut all this. So we might just cut this all off, but let's see. Ooh, so now that we're underneath the car, we got that nice camber, as you guys can see. We've got the jack over there for extra support. Ooh, we got some nice BC shocks. And uh, honestly, that thing is way too far in there for me to be wrestling it, so I'm gonna cut it right there and right there. After I try one time pulling off, it doesn't come off. I'm just gonna send it. Might just pull these off first and then try that side, but all of these are just looking like trash, but I can't cut these because these are like different than normal. So I don't wanna like go too hack in case I ever wanna put it back on, but 
honestly, whatever. Got to get this hanger off right here. It was a nightmare taking this thing off. Whoever put this on, put the rubber on, and then welded it. This is just, this is homemade exhaust, so whoever welded this on here, welded it on after they put the rubber grommet on. They slipped it through, they welded it, and it was done. This is looking. You made my life a little bit harder today, but there we go. Looks good, so I'm down here on the ground. I'm gonna go do the other side now. Come along with me. Tell you what, this side's all floppy. I'm hoping to see this side just like that in a minute. Right up inside of here, it's way harder to get to, but uh, I'm actually gonna go ahead and do the one, the one inside of there. And I'm gonna take that one off, and then we're gonna do this one after, because there's just no way if ends are bust. We're gonna have to flip this thing to a 90 with it. This thing is honestly beating me up right now. There's only one last thing to do. That is the generic hanger that doesn't matter at all. Some of you guys might be on my side with this one. It's time to take out my trusty dusty Harbor Freight Exacto and uh, say RIP. I mean, it's a, it's a generic exhaust hanger. They're $5 anyway. Let's send it. We are under this thing and it is not comfortable. I'm a big dude underneath a small car. There we go. Look how smooth and buttery that is. Look at that. Ow! 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 Ah! 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 Exhaust just nailed me in the head. Right on my temple. Super dizzy. And then the hanger hit me in the chin. I'm super dizzy. That thing hit me right in the temple. That's not a good spot to hit you. No bueno. Pretty sure they say if you hit in the temple hard enough, you die. So hopefully I don't get a headache. But yeah, so the exhaust is down now. This big part right here smacked me right here. And that's why I was like, oh, oh, because it really did hurt. And I uh, was kind of disorientated. And then this hit me right in the neck, and you guys can see it has a sharp spot. Like if I pull on that, it'll cut me. So luckily I didn't get cut. But uh, now that that is out, we gotta get that side out. And uh, I am not gonna hit that with a knife. Maybe it will, but I'm gonna try my best not to. I might just cut the exhaust hanger before I cut the mount itself. So, yep, we got two mounts down. One more to go. Let's get this thing out of here. Oh wait, UPS is here. Maybe they have some parts for the TT or the TDI. I don't know, but let's find out if this for us. As you hate to see it, it is a package, but it's not for me. It's for Mama K. Maybe it's candy. I'll find out in a little bit, but let's go ahead and take this little bit of exhaust off. I want to take the thumbnail in today's sunlight. You know, nothing like a good thumbnail in the sunlight. So, got one little exhaust hanger to take off and now let's rip it off. So now that the exhaust is off, I can actually just push this hanger up, I believe, and hopefully it'll just come right out. Pull on it a little bit, do a little tug. I know you guys probably can't see up in there, but this exhaust hanger is about to meet its match. go and just like that we got her out so I'm still feeling a little dizzy from getting my head smacked in by that exhaust so hopefully I make it through but that exhaust did not make it through and this exhaust clamp wasn't even tight the butt clamp last time when I went to go tighten up the exhaust just to hold it up against the body since we were holding this up it just slid right off so this is obviously homemade um somebody didn't do a bad job that's for sure they did a pretty decent job but uh got her out all right guys so we got that exhaust out she's sitting right here on the lawn probably just gonna store it underneath the deck for now at least we know we have some nice polished four inch exhaust tips which are pretty nice but the hood exit is definitely not looking as shiny as it should 
and I figured if those tips were looking that shiny, this tip should be looking that shiny. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with some white diamond just with my hands. Just move around with a nice microfiber cloth. We're gonna see how shiny you can get it. And uh, that glove has seen better days. But it kept the rainwater out, which is great. And we're gonna take the, you know, obviously this car off the jacks and stuff, but let's go ahead and let's make this, this exhaust tip look nice and shiny. This poor glove has seen better days. It's gonna wind up in the trash. I tend to use White Diamond, it's a really good polish. Um, not a paid sponsorship, but if you guys definitely looking for some wheel polishes, this is a really good stuff. Walmart, $15. It has a built-in sealer, removes oxidation, it's uh, it's pretty good. I, uh, I don't really use it too sparingly. I've had the same bottle and I've polished the same wheels for years on, this, on end with the same bottle, so it's not like you burn through it. You gotta shake it up a little bit before. But you know, the rag starts to turn black. You know, just a couple motions, and uh, you know, when you're when you're driving down the road, you want to make a little bit of a, of a statement saying, "Hey, listen, I got this nice polished exhaust." Everyone's gonna go, "Wow, how cool!" Just go around, and get all the excessive black stuff off, throw it to the side, and uh, here you go. You got a really nice polished exhaust. If I wanted it to be insane, I'd go in there with some sandpaper, um, maybe some 800, get it down to 2000, and really work it. But I worked this one the other day for way longer, and uh, there's still some white you know, stuff on there because I didn't really clean it off all that well. But this one came out amazing. So the TDI came out really good too, and I'm so happy that we got the exhaust out from underneath that car. Nothing's jangling around underneath there, and uh, that's probably about 30 pounds of dead weight in the car, so race car. But got that all polished up. I'm gonna go ahead and clean all this up. The hood is right there. I've actually been putting the hood over the top because there is supposed to be like caps that hold down these red top oil packs that I have to get. But for now, I just don't want rain going in there. So, will I get the cap? Maybe, but I should I 100%. And the car definitely runs way better with those. We're still waiting for the serpent belt to come in for that, but honestly, we got way more plans for this thing than just a stupid serpent belt, so. Everything's good there, but I'm really excited to go get the wheels repaired. If you guys didn't hear my live, if you guys didn't watch my live, um, Tommy he couldn't make it to uh, work this week. He's been sick, so he's um, he's gonna hopefully be back Monday. We'll get the wheel repaired and uh, we'll be ro rolling with these RSs on the TDI. And uh, I'm really excited. I mean, I'm, trying to, I'm gonna try to incorporate my daily life into the vlog as well because this whole quarantine thing kind of takes away from the content and uh, I don't show you guys enough for the daily. Let me do it down in the comments if you guys want to see um, making coffee in the morning. Just like little things, you know, like TJ Hunt will go to Starbucks and get coffee, or Adam LZ will just go to Starbucks. I'll go to Starbucks or I'll just make my own coffee. Whatever you guys want to see, let me do it down in the comments. If you guys stayed this long in the video, definitely comment down below. I stayed and uh, I love seeing you guys interact. So I'm going to go ahead, put this hood back up on the car, put that exhaust behind the deck, and uh, see what up's next. Jack, all from underneath the car, got the hood sitting all weird, but at the end of the day, guys, as long as it protects those coil paths and the hood exit, it's all really matters because the weather's so up and down here. Today it's 65 degrees, sunny, beautiful, no wind, no nothing. Tomorrow, 40 degrees is a high, rainy, uh, potentially snow. So that's just the weather we're getting here. Um, New Jersey is a really, really weird state, especially in uh, the springtime. I mean, we can, get a, we can get a foot of snow tomorrow and it honestly would be very surprising, but very possible. But this freaking exhaust needs to go underneath the deck. I have so many exhausts underneath the deck, you guys, no joke. I mean, you can just see them back there from the TDI and my dad's truck and you know, all that good stuff. So right now I'm just gonna lean that on the moped for now until I find somewhere to tuck that away. I wish there was a catalytic converter on there. Could just burn out to the dump, made a quick 170 bucks. Chris Rudnick does it all the time, Rice or Miata. <sighs> also, shout out to the Boosted Boys for getting the new house. Kyle got his new house. If you guys watch the Boosted Boys, definitely comment down below. I love watching those channels. I've been watching a lot of Boosted Boys lately. Um, Cleus McFarlane. Been keeping up with Chris Rudnick. Um, he's been doing some racing content. It's not bad. He's been racing some Teslas and stuff like that in his GTR. And I've uh, been watching like Adam and all them, so it's been really cool. But um, let me know what you guys want to see with the TT. I mean, we can have some involved content, but uh, if you guys want to see some custom stuff, let me know in the comments what, what I should make custom. And uh, we're going to be doing some fun stuff with this. So everything's cleaned up, and uh, we're going to wrap this one up for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a shorter one, but uh, 
it was uh, very productive. You know, sometimes you don't have to have a super long video to be productive. I'm gonna keep it short for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Keep smiling, don't even put you down, and honestly, keep wrenching on your cars. Comment down below what kind of cars you guys have been working on. Make sure you guys are subscribed for a 20,000 subscriber giveaway. It's just amazing. You guys just keep subscribing and uh, you guys keep loving the content and commenting. It's, it's really cool and I, I appreciate all you guys. So make sure you hit your post notification bell so you guys know when I post my videos. And uh, if you're not already following my Instagram, follow my Instagram at tilt underscore TDI. And also, I think it's really cool that you guys have been emailing um, TikTok about my, getting my account back, which is really cool. My friend Davis, he made this email right here, and uh, he basically, it's a great layout for you guys to see what maybe you should say. If, if you're interested in helping me get my TikTok back, because it was wrongly taken from me, and uh, I was banned randomly. So Alex Wittick6 um, was the TikTok, and Davis wrote this out, and Davis just knocked it out of the park, and I really appreci appreciate you, man. And uh, for anyone else that's been emailing them, so you know there's the email and uh there's there's um the me email address as well so i really appreciate davis i really appreciate everybody that's gonna you know maybe pitch in and help me get my tiktok back and uh just keep smiling don't even put you down and just keep rolling keep working on your cars and i'll catch you guys in the next one i'm really excited to bring you guys content i'm really excited to get the rs's back on the tdi so i'm really excited i hope you guys are as well so peace out i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i'll see you guys in the next one I say this is a little bit of bonus footage. I hope you guys enjoy it. About to hop in the Tilt TDI. We're gonna go for a rip, and uh, this is the new daily. I haven't even driven this car in like three weeks, and uh, it just feels amazing dailying my favorite stance car. So let's hop in it. Let's go for a rip, and uh, let's enjoy this beautiful afternoon. I will tell you guys what. I've been loving driving this car daily. Definitely can't complain about nothing, and uh, no glow plugs. Awesome, so let's go for a rip. I can't shift with the camera in my hand, but that doesn't matter. We're enjoying this car. We're still uh, obeying the laws. And, uh... We're still enjoying the car, but uh, I also got donated $11 this morning on live, which awesome so I just ordered myself some new air fittings for the front so uh, no more leaky back which is awesome and uh, yeah it's not a rain more than tilt the TDI we don't care about rain so camera's great for the rain and uh, this car is so fun guys this car is so fun I hope you guys enjoyed today's video I'm gonna keep going on my little enjoyable drive and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video